Got Sorry. another comment asking about more 50 front. Uh, absolutely. The Eagles should be running more odd fronts. Um, yes, please. There was no coherency between what it was like the Eagles were running two different pass rush or two different uh, defenses. They had their even front packages with Cox and Hargrave, and they had their odd front packages that had uh, Milton Williams and Jordan Davis out there. It was dumb. And it was dumb. <laughs> there was no. There was no marriage between them. It was like we were just rotating out. It's like, now we're going to run this defense. Yeah. Now we're going to run this one. There was no consistency to the game plan. Uh, you know, my tweet, it was, you know, I think it was that the Lions averaged 2.9 yards per carry when Jordan Davis was on the field. They averaged 10 yards per carry when he was off the field. Like, you drafted this guy. You traded up and drafted this guy to be a math changer on your defense. And then you don't play him. He only played 23 snaps. And I just don't understand. I don't understand why against Jared Goff, you're so dedicated to being in nickel packages. Like we're terrified, scared to death that Jared Goff is going to dice up the defense. But like the Lions were out here in 12 personnel and we're in nickel. So we're already at a mismatch. We've got our safeties playing 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. (laughs) Two high safeties. And then they're running condensed sets. They've even got the receivers in as blockers. They've essentially got nine guys in the box to block. And we've got six man boxes. And it was just, it was just a ridiculous plan. It was a garbage schematic X's and O's performance. We can talk about the missed tackles and there's an element of that at play there. Would the defense be better if players didn't miss tackles? Absolutely. Would players miss less tackles if they were put in better positions to succeed? Definitely. (laughs) <laughs> I just, I am confident right now in saying that Jonathan Gannon should be fired. Like, get him out of there before he ruins the season. This guy is over his head. He has been for a long time. Last year, we gave the excuses. He doesn't have the personnel. He had all the personnel. He's had all offseason, and he put together one of the worst defensive perform, worst defensive game plans I've ever seen. And he That's didn't adjust. Cool. When he went south. And so you can come in and say we're going to run nickel. And we're going to do this. And when it doesn't work, let's change something. Let's not continue to let them run for 10 yards a carry. I, I'm over Jonathan Gannon. He can't get out of here soon enough.